Welcome to Hood War Stories. In this episode, I'll be discussing the life of Heidi B. Heidi Amber McCoy was born on April 2nd, 1988, to the parents of Barbara Lewis and Steve McCoy. She was mixed race, of Black American and Salvadorian descent. Heidi was raised in Inglewood, California, a blood-dominated city located on the southwestern portion of LA County. A sizable amount of gang turf in Inglewood is middle class, with many members coming from two-parent functional households. Not everyone is super active, but more affiliated just by being from the city and having friends from the set. Heidi officially jumped off the porch in her teen years. She ran her fades and got put on the 90s Inglewood families. These were people she grew up with who fully embraced her, so the transition into the set was organic. Since the late 1990s, there was a dramatic increase in female gang members in LA County. For females recruited into a gang, the male ritual of the jump in may be replaced by being sexed in, requiring the female to sleep with several or all of the gang members. Unless a female is protected by association with a male gang member, she may become property of the gang. Even the role of a gang member's girlfriend is not that secure. Male gang members are expected to occasionally stray, but the girlfriends are required to remain loyal. This double standard pushes some females into a more masculine role, becoming one of the boys, rather than a sexual object or cheerleader for the gang. The Inglewood families operated more as a family and viewed their female members as the homegirls. From the moment she got jumped in, Heidi's turn up was on max. She wasn't large in size, but that didn't mean anything. She was hopping out of whips and parking anything that was crib, pressing lines from Manchester down a century. If her homies needed her to fight a female, she's pulling up with no hesitation. Her squabble was known as one of the coldest in Inglewood. She got the love and respect from her hood for being a solid, bona fide rider. Let's fast forward to 2011. After years of being active in the streets, Heidi starts dating a guy from the Broadway Gangsta Crips that are located just east of the 110 freeway. Although blood and crib members dating is fairly common, it could potentially be a conflict of interest. In the early morning hours of December 11th, 2011, at around 1 a.m., Heidi and her boyfriend were walking up to the liquor store in his hood. Just before they entered, her dude encountered enemy gang members out front, and they exchanged fighting words. After the verbal confrontation, Heidi and her boyfriend would proceed to enter the liquor store and make their purchase. They left the store and began heading down Main Street on foot. Less than a minute later, those same enemies drove past, and the passenger popped out with a gun and let off 10 shots. Her boyfriend grabbed her and used her as a human shield right when they started shooting. Heidi would die that night at the age of 23. Her crib boyfriend would also be shot in the arm and in the ass, but he would end up surviving. <laughs> Eyewitnesses were in shock, and there was a bit of outrage, as the bullets were intended for her boyfriend. Something nearly happened to him, as the allegedly gang member showed up to the hospital he was at to finish the job. He had to change locations. Heidi would leave behind two loving parents and a daughter. Her daughter's father, Keith Walton, also known as Green Eyes, was the ringleader of CMT one of the Inglewood family's most lucrative, violent cliques. Green Eyes was a felon and had multiple state convictions. The earliest had come from a robbery with the firearm that he committed at age 18. His life had been marked by violence. Both his first wife and his stepbrother had been murdered in gang-related shootings in the mid-2010s. He had his clique stage a series of daytime smash-and-grab robberies at Southern California jewelry stores that netted the thieves six million worth of Rolexes and other high-end watches. In 2018, he was sentenced to 55 years in the federal prison. Heidi B was a beloved member of the Inglewood families, and her memory is still being honored to this day. Hey, Heidi B, what's happening, blood? It's your motherfucking birthday. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.